Hi everyone and welcome to this updated version of how to create line art or a line drawing digitally using a free program called GIMP and basically it means you can change and turn any photo reference into workable line art much more simplified uh, for use and transfer in your art projects. It was a very popular video and obviously as GIMP did lots of updates since I made that video I've been asked over and over again how to create line art using the new version you can actually still follow the methods from the original video and I'm going to show you how to do that and also how to create uh, your line art using that new digital download so the version I was using was 2.8.22 and I've just downloaded the new version now. So this is what it looks like, the original video um, thumbnail, if you are on YouTube, how to create a line drawing. The latest version of GIMP that I've just downloaded is version 2.10, 2.10.34. But anyway, it, that's the new version, and I'm going to show you, repeat this original video for you using the new updated software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the GIMP actual website, the official website, and here you can download your current stable release of GIMP, and here you can see it's 2.10.34. That was released in February of this year, 2023. Um, of course, I will look to see if there are more updates uh, in the future, but this will be the version that's going to be running on my PC now for the foreseeable. And this is the new version. Um, I've done the download. This is just getting it going. And there we go. We are now open. Okay, so this is how your screen will open up. You can change the layout layout of it, your um, library and your tools etc but we're going to keep it nice and simple for this. So all you want to do is come up, click on file go to open and then wherever your reference photo is stored on your PC just come into here and this is where you're going to open it from so we'll come in and open up number one first of all double click and this is our image that we want to create some line art from and just like before you go up to filters you go to edge detect and you see here we've got different difference of Gaussian now because of the updates, if you use this first version, it is not going to be the same as what I showed in my previous video. But if you go down to the bottom, it's the legacy version. And the legacy version means this is the same version as was on previous um, versions of GIMP, previous releases. So this is the one you want to click, click on. Difference of Gaussian, legacy. So I've clicked on that. And what I'm going to do is just drag this across until I've got part of the line in there. I usually drag down until I can find an eye or something. So there we go, there's an eye there. So we'll come up. And now I'm going to come in and first thing I'm going to do is just come into that radius one and I'm going to make it 75. Let's make it 75 and then just click return. Okay, that's okay. And what you want to do is just play around with these settings. Might change that to zero. No, actually, I quite like it. Let's go back up to two. No, I'm going to leave it on one. Now, do I want to make this um, the detailing on anything else anymore? I think it's okay, to be honest. We just want to be able to see that it's simplified it down. And that has simplified it down quite a bit. We don't want every single marking in there. I'll just show you, for example, if we go up to 175, we lose a lot more. So let's come down to, say, 55. Actually, 55 is not bad for this one. Let's come across and look at that eye again. And let's just compare that to our 75. 75 is a usual marker that I tend to go in with. I prefer 75. Let's go up to 95. Actually, 95 is okay. So once you're happy with all your settings, literally just come down here 
and click on the OK. And now you'll see at the bottom here, uh, this little little timer just coming along. That just means it's doing its thing. And it'll just take a few seconds, depending on how big your uh, reference image is, what kind of size file it is, it might take a bit longer. So just a little bit of patience, and we'll just wait for that to come across all the way over to the end. I must admit, on the old version, it was a lot quicker than this. But there you go, there you go, it's sped up now. So there we go. It's given us a basic uh, line version of that original reference photo. So next you want to come up to colours and we are going to desaturate and that will just take out, you could have done this before, you can desaturate your photo before if you want to. Um, I'm just going to strip it out and literally I'm just going to go with what is there and I'm going to strip out any colour. Just left it on the settings that are already there. Now come back up to colours again and we are going to go in for just brightness and contrast. Now you play with all of those things in there if you want to, all of those things. But we are literally just going to come in and change this to... I'm going to drop it down to minus 100. That's the brightness. Drops down. And then the contrast, I'm going to come in and bring it up to plus about 95 we want it on. I don't like these new settings. I'm used to going in and just fiddling. So there you can see. And, and again, you can just come in and you can tweak. You can take it up or down yourself. And just have a play in there. See what happens if I bring the contrast right back down again. So I'm going to take it back up again. Take it back up to about 95 possibly a little bit lower, basically just until you're happy. Let's stick it on. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the 95 to be honest. There we go. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let's come in and just click OK again. And that now has really given you your line art. You can come back in once more and just have a fiddle with the levels. So click on levels. And you can just have a play with the levels in here. You can, basically, you can increase by take, dragging this triangle here on the input levels up. You can add in even more detail. You see, I'm getting even more detail in there. And I can strip some away as well. So again, have a play with how much detail you want in there. And that's just on the input levels. And again, just come down. And click OK. And if at any time you want to undo any of this, obviously you can just come up to your edit and you can click on the whole undo history, um, which is, is showing on the right hand side of the page anyway, or you can just undo the last stage. So there you go. I will just go back in. Can I redo it from there? Yep, I'll redo that levels because I was happy with that. And then all you want to do then is come in and you can. You don't want to overwrite your reference image unless you've already saved a copy of your reference image and you're working from the copy. So you want to come in and you want to export as. So export as, I'm going to take it into the same folder and you can just rename it number one um, line up and export. And I'm going to save it at that quality. So a lot of things you don't need to fiddle around with and change too much. Right, so I'm going to show you once more. Let's pick another image from our folder. Um, what have we got? I think let's have a guess. Let's just go with whatever this one is. Here, here you go. We've got a little meerkat. So filters, edge to tech, and go right down to the legacy version, of the difference of Gaussian. So we're already on the same position here that we were for the lion. Um, so let's come up and I'm going to take it across to that right hand eye. It's just so I know that I'm on a little bit of detail. I've got a little bit of fur there. Um, and it's already on the same settings. So again, have a play. Let's take it down to 65. No, not enough. Let's take it up to 95. No. I'm going to bring it back down to 85 again. 
that's okay, I'll go with it. So once you're happy, just come back down and click OK. And then we just need to wait for our little edge detect wizard to do its thing along that bottom edge there. GIMP, like I say, whilst, whilst we're here, it's free. You can do everything in here that you can pretty much do in Photoshop. So I haven't, this is the raw image. I haven't edited it. I haven't tweaked the contrast, the color or anything. So you would want to do that before you come in and create your line art, really. Okay, there we go. So back up to colors. Let's strip all that color out and just desaturate. And just click OK colors again and we want brightness and contrast so we will come into here and we will go minus minus 100 and we will go plus see I'm just used to using um, my presets so I'm just gonna plus 95 and there we can see that's our basic line art. So what I'll do, I'll just come back up to colors again. Let's come into those levels and see if we need to add any more detail in. There we go. We've added a little bit more in, but that gives us enough. We can see the shape of the mouth, see some of the fur direction. You can see some of the basic fur. It breaks it down and simplifies it for you. Um, there are other programs that can make it into just a line drawing, um, which are like the photo editors, but this is to turn your actual reference into a true digital art version of it, just showing you the darks and lights and some of the, you know, the details that are there. So again, click OK, and again, we are just going to export it as so number three, line art. I'm going to do one last one really quickly for you. Okay, so just rename it there, three line arts, and then hit export, and we'll export. Right, I'm going to do one last version really quickly this time. We are going to open. We'll just grab whatever picture two is. Hey, it's a little, little lemur. Okay, so filters, edge detect, legacy version of difference of Gaussian, 85 and 1. We'll go with that again. It's doing its thing along the bottom there. And like I said, this is just a really simple way of doing this. I've got lots of programs here as well to show how to resize, how to prep up, how to then transfer this line art to your support. Uh, just have a flick through my videos and there is pretty much something for everyone to get started with their artwork. There we go. So, so basically what you've got to remember is turn it into a line drawing, strip out the colour, or, you know, strip out the colour and then click OK. And then do this process, colours again, brightness and contrast. Let's come in here. So we want minus. I don't like this new setup, I must admit. I'm so, I'll get used to it. So minus 100. Oh, it's gone minus 103. Let's delete it, it's much easier. Minus 100. And contrast, we are going to go 95. Lovely. So into colours again, one last time. Levels, I have a little tweak here, just drag this one up a little bit. Well, that's nice. Click OK. And then over and export. So really hope that this has just shown you that, you know, if you've got that new version, it doesn't matter if you... And I have updated the old version just to say that this is what all you that you need to do now is to come in and to get hold of that filters, you know, edge detect, but go for the legacy version, not the... Um, not the new difference of ghosts. I haven't even tried the new one to be honest because I know the legacy is the old version. Okay so please do have a look at all the other videos I've got. I will link you up as well to one of my videos showing how to transfer this over but 
onto uh, your support. But I've got several on here showing different methods as well. So you'll find one that suits you. Thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do just hit the button below and it really helps my channel to be seen. Thank you. Thank you.